Hi everybody. Today my topic is decision tree. How to use decision tree to model decision problems under risk. Let's move ahead to see in details of it. We use decision tree to model decision problems under risk and it presents the decision alternatives and future outcomes. Let's move in next slide to see details of it, especially the decision alternatives and future outcomes. This is a diagram of decision tree. It has three nodes. We can see it here. This is one. This is second. This is third. First one. It is decision node. We can see here there is a two line. It is originated from this decision node. And these two line represents decision alternatives. A decision maker must select only one alternatives. It is most important point. So he has control on this. In the second node, it is outcome node. Here we can see two lines which is originated from this node. And we call these two line as a outcome 1 and outcome 2. Decision maker has no control over this outcome. The last note, it is terminal note. It is the end of the decision tree. So it has, I mean, this decision node path and outcome node path ends at terminal node. And these terminal nodes, we get payoffs, expected monetary value at the terminal node. And it is the result of decision alternatives and the outcomes, these two. More details we'll see in next slides. How to analyze the decision tree? By folding back the decision tree. It is important. from right to left. Here in this decision node, what we calculate? We calculate 
expected monetary value. I mean this outcome. At outcome note, we calculate expected monetary value because we are getting payoffs in the right hand side. Then we calculate expected monetary value. Then that monetary value we put it here. This outcome note. And each decision note, we select the best expected monetary value in the decision note. And as per this expected monetary value, best expected monetary value, on the basis of that, a decision maker choose the alternatives. Let's move forward to understand more. Here I have taken an example, a bicycle shop. Owner wants to consider three options for its facilities for the next year. He can expand his current shop. He can move to a larger facility or he will make no change. These three alternatives. On the basis of market conditions, if the market is good, payoffs will be like this. If average market, payoffs will be like this one, these values. If poor market, then payoffs will be these three. Taking all these informations, we will make a decision table or payoff table in the next slide. We need some more informations to make the table. It is probabilities of good, average and poor. It is 0 0.25, 0 0.45 and 0 0.3. So once we get all this information, if we make the table, our target will be to find the maximum expected monetary value. So decision table, it is this one. All the informations we got from previous slide. This is the alternatives. This is all payoffs and good average poor. This outcomes and probability is 0 0.25, 0 0.45, 0 0.3. So in the next slide, we will use this table informations. Before Putting the value in the decision tree, we need to know first what is EMB for each alternatives. I mean how, how we can calculate this. So there is a formula for probability multiplied by payoff. This we will use to find the maximum expected monetary value. Once we get it, we will select the largest expected monetary value. So decision tree right now we got it. As you can see expand move and no change. This is the alternatives. This is outcome node. This is the payoffs and here all outcomes having the probability. All the informations we took from the previous decision table or payoff table. So I am bringing that table to look at 
all these payoffs I put it here right hand side of the decision tree then in outcome options like outcome one two three good average and poor I put the probability value from here and these alternatives already I showed here and we can see here this is decision node this is outcome node so totally it is decision tree this is the decision tree now I will show how we got this expected monetary values like for expand 76 30 and 17 this three multiplied by these three probabilities respectively so we get this 27400 for the move i use this formula same payoff and the probability multiplying we got 32550 so i put it here then for the last one all these payoffs multiplied by probability respectively and i got this expected monetary value 15550 so i wrote it here now if you look at this three e expected monetary value so these three expected monetary value out of this as i told in previous slide we have to choose the maximum one so this one is the maximum that's why i brought this value here as well i put two because i brought it from here on this decision node i put this value so decision maker will choose this move alternatives so the best option is move the facility as it has an expected monetary value of 32550 that's all for today thanks for watching